Hello, everybody. It looks like I'm live. I didn't even know I started. Isn't that something? <laughs> oh, the technical issues I have had today. Well, anyway, the frustration's over, I hope. I hope we are done with this uh, business. So let me make sure I'm coming up live on my page because this is a new app that I'm using. That's the only way I could figure out how to get this going. So yes, it looks like I'm here. Just move it over. Oh, I hope I can see comments. Now that's not working. Hmm. Well, let me see if I can swipe it. There we go. Lucky I have a touch screen. Okay, I think we're live, right? Everybody, we're here and it's working. Oh, I was so frustrated earlier. I, I finally gave up after I think 25 minutes. I called my son for help. I went online and looked for help. And finally, I got some help from uh, on a tech site, uh, Facebook uh, or a tech site for demonstrators. And I heard that many people are having this issue with Facebook and not letting um, us go live, especially in horizontal mode. I could go live this way, but you would only see this much and you would see way more than I want you to north and south here. <laughs> so my camera stand, my laptop, my belly, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So anyway, let's get going. Hopefully we'll see a few other people on with us. And so we made these cards last night. This was my, uh, sample and this is from my friend Susie. Susie Wood made this and it's a really neat, I'm calling it a triangle flap card and so it's her version and this is what I did. So you can see that you can either send it this way or like this. I showed a couple neat ways of adding some glittery spatter. So if you haven't watched that, that was on last night. Uh, you can find uh, these cards also on my YouTube channel as well as on Facebook. So I um, am challenging people to share their version of the diamond flap card, and I will show measurements on that um, on the site. Okay, all right, let's get started. The news today is that starting October 3rd, there is a new Join Stampin' Up! special. And so because it's 35 year anniversary, they are doing a 35% off start the cost of the starter kit and or 35% more with your starter kit. So how that works, let me take a drink because I've got a little frog in my throat still for some reason. Hopefully I'm not coming down with something. Um, so 35 off the starter kit of $99 means you pay $64.35, $64.35, and still get $125 in product. So that's the 35% off. 35% more means you pay the $99 price plus tax, no shipping, and you get $168 in products for $99. So that is the special that starts next week. I believe Tuesday is October 3rd. So yeah, consider that it's a wonderful way to get the products you love at a discount. Whether you're going to do anything as a business or not, it's still great to get that discount. You don't have to be a demonstrator per se. You, you just, we call you a happy shopper if you just want to enjoy the discount. Okay, a little bit of, um, let's do door prizes. So last week I gave away a share of designer paper or I am giving away. This is our in colors and they're still current. The paper is not, but the colors are. That's a half a pack of paper. And the other prize is a set of cards. And those are these cards right here. Some cute cards I received in swaps. So the winners of the, let's see, the cards is, and I think she's on, Brenda Crawford. Congratulations, Brenda. And the winner of the designer paper is Beverly Smith. So for sharing. So thank you so much, gals, for commenting, watching, sharing. I appreciate that very, very much. Helps me get the word out on my videos. If you enjoy my videos, share it with a crafter so they can start watching too and learning. Basically, it's a free class every Tuesday morning. 
<laughs> Tuesday afternoon today because of my tech issues. Okay, um, well, I do want to talk about my current online ordering special, and these are card kits. <clears throat> these are card kits with five or six cards in matching envelopes, some memories and more, some die cuts. I, it's a card sample ready to go for a crafter for you to get creative and play. And so that is when you a $55 or $50 order using a host code and you get one of those kits. Now, if you have a lot to order, I suggest you consider one of my mystery boxes. So I have quite a few left and the mystery boxes include at least 100, 180 up to $200 in product. The one thing I didn't include on here, I forgot, was cardstock. Each uh, box, it's a huge, big priority box, heavy, um, has this product in it. And they, the cardstock is, some get a whole pack, some get assorted colors, and so it's a great deal. So I do ask you place an order using my host code of over $100, and then you get the mystery box for free. I do ask it to help you that you help me pay shipping on that. It's $14 because it's a nice big heavy box. But yeah, each one has at least three to five, four stamp sets and bundles, markers, ribbon, embellishments, a lot of designer paper. I think there's five or six um, different kinds. Then you get embossing folders and some have punches and there's a lot. Cards and envelopes. It's it's packed, jam-packed. So yeah, I'm glad I made it on too, Trina. <laughs> You're welcome, Brenda. So inventory status. This is the latest as of today. All of this is designer paper. But luckily, a lot of it will be back uh, next week, Monday. And some will be back later the next Monday. And then just a few things are later in the, in the month. The glow-in-the-dark paper is the longest. That's about six weeks. So some of these items, the embossing folder is next week, the sheer ribbon, a couple weeks yet, the truck punch is coming back in about uh, 15 days. So, so that'll be awesome. I have projects to share with that already ready to go. Okay. Oh, I didn't get to what the door prizes were for today. So um, I'll draw prizes next week. This set, it's a brand new set on Nuts About Squirrels and it is uh, free for sharing and for commenting on giving away a nice big pack of these dragonfly trinkets. They are beautiful and they're quite flat. You'd be surprised how flat they are. So, yep, that's the prizes for this week's video. So don't forget to comment and share on my Facebook page to be in the drawing. One more thing before we get started on our projects today. And I have one paper share left. And this is, then I, I, I cut it off already because there's just been too many back orders. So if you want a nice big 80 pack of designer paper, it's $30, $31 for locals and 37 for shipping to you. So it includes all of the specialty papers in the holiday, cat, all the papers in the holiday catalog, including there is even a glow in the dark one in here. I don't know where it's at, but there's only one because it's um, one sheet of everything in the catalog. So let me know if you want that, and it'll, it's yours. One left for this, this season, so that's that. Okay, so my club members, Trina, you will not be surprised by these projects. They are from our club projects this month in September. So the first one features the Magical Meadow bundle, and that is in the holiday catalog. And surprisingly, it has not gone out of stock. It's a big set of two layers of dies and um, stamp set. Little bit of the deckled circles we used. And we made a double decker card. So this features, uh, this is the hmm, Earth and Textures designer paper. They all have different papers. This is the fall um, all about autumn designer paper. Oh, you want the share, Rita? Okay, it's yours. I got it saved for you. Thank you, Rita. Okay, so this is the card we made at club. I'm gonna share with you how to make that. And um, I actually stamped everything already because I wanted, uh, so I came on, I wanted it to be fairly fast. Um, yeah, so 
here is, and I will be sharing the free project sheet next week. I have been making project sheets for all of my lives um, lately. So, but you do need to follow me on my blog in order to get those project sheets. Okay, and I have a feeling I didn't bring my, um, it's, it's actually not bad, but hold on. I'm gonna go grab my sanding paper. Now, if you have a sanding block, I would use a sanding block. So this is textured with the Distress Tile. It's a new embossing folder, and this is the daisy paper. So it's just a nice, smooth um, copper, but kind of a washed look. And after you emboss it, you just take a piece of sanding paper and go over it, and it reveals the white core of your designer paper. My husband had this in his shop and I said, I just want some fine uh, sanding paper. So that's what he gave me. All right, so that's gonna go on this panel right here. Oh, I hope I have everything. It's been kind of a, after I gave up after 25 minutes of trying to do the live earlier, I took a break because I was so frustrated. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyway. So I kind of dismantled my basket. So I'm just hoping I have everything with me here. So this is a piece of vanilla. This is copper clay cardstock. Then we have this box. Now this is, gosh, I think it's three and, well, I guess I can tell if I can see up here. It is three and a half by three and three quarters. So put that back. So I scored it every three quarters of an inch. So now this box, I'm going to form it. So this is the skinniest part of the box. So add a little adhesive there, fold that over. And then I usually turn it and fold it another time just so all the folds are happy <laughs> and not going to buckle on me. Then I add adhesive to one edge. Now this has to be down first when you're making this double decker card. And I have my seam right here. I want that inside the card. I don't know why, probably wouldn't show much. But add that there, close the card so it's, it fits and doesn't buckle because the glue will move. Okay, next we're going to add adhesive here. So I shared one of these double-decker cards, oh, I don't know, a month or two ago. Okay, there we go. Now, this is a, I, I, like I said, oh, I don't know. I have my measurements right here. So this is the project sheet that I will be printing. So the um, designer paper is three inches by four and a half inches. So that, that project sheet will be posted on my blog uh, next week. So the week of October 1st, 2nd, 2nd, I think. Okay, once you lay that on there, I like to close it, look at my parameters, scoot it over a little bit to make it all even, and then fold and see how it pops up. Oh, I can go a little bit in. That's the beauty of the liquid glue. Scoot that so it's a little more centered. There you go. Okay, all right, now I did stamp my greetings already because like I said, I was um, gathering my other leftover club pieces and uh, stamping them so I can make use of the leftover pieces and use them as thank you cards. That's what I'm going to do. So three dimensionals, doesn't have to be regular dimensionals. So I stamped the greeting, and this is from, when I put it away already, from the So Sincere, my favorite greeting set in this catalog. I edged the outside with copper clay ink. I'm gonna do the same with this. So grab my sponge dauber, do one for the back. And so this is one of my club members idea, and. A lot of people loved it. I love it when I learn from my gals at club. They had a great idea because a lot of people said, well, I don't want to cover that pretty paper up. So 
So they said, I'm going to put it on the back. So that's what we're going to do on the back. But while I have this out, we're going to just add a little color to the little, um, I don't remember what these are called, cattails, I think. Okay, that's done with that. I'm not going to stamp this other leaf from the set because I already put it away. But you get the gist on that one. Okay, so to add this, I'm going to add some adhesive right there and get this on as straight as I can. It's always interesting to try and get straight on a circle. Okay, then I'll put maybe this one up first. Little tiny smears of the liquid glue. And then the same thing with this one. Some of my cards, I had the little ferny frond here done in the copper. And others, I die cut in espresso and I let them choose. Oh, and I did put glue on all of it so it has to stay on the card. Where this one hangs off, this one has to stay on. Okay, so... Then what they did, they decided to do was because you can't really sign. I mean, you could peek in there and sign something and play the peekaboo thing. But if you want to, oops, you could add your signing circle on the back. So that's what they decided they wanted to do. Was sign the back. So you think. So I did, and I think I put them away already, color some... Uh, iridescent pearls with a copper blends marker to add the finishing touch to that. But all the cards turned out so different depending on which paper in the All About Autumn uh, paper I used. So remember that All About Autumn will be back October 9th. So hopefully they ordered a lot this time so we don't run out again. All right, so that is the first card that I have to share with you today. Now we'll get to the second one, and this is probably my favorite, very, very favorite. Okay, project sheet, which you will see, and I'm using the Autumn Leaves Bundle. Oops, this one comes with these dies. So that's the Autumn Leaves Bundle, love the bundle. It has beautiful die cuts, quite a few um, pretty, um, label dies too, and textures. Okay, and then the other one I'm using is the Gorgeous Leaves, Gorgeous Garden. Gorgeous Garden has two large dies in it. One is floral, one is leaves, and I'll show you the cards I shared before. This is one of them. This was Lemon Lime Twist that I just added a little bit of Pretty Peacock on that die cut. So that's that card. And here is the one with the floral in the back. So that's that. And this is that same uh, double decker card. So that's where I got my idea. Just changed it up a little bit. Okay, so that's the beautiful, gorgeous garden dies. I think they're just stunning. And I'm sure enjoying using them. Okay, so here are my cards. So these, I think, are absolutely gorgeous um, fall cards and so fun to make. All right, so the, I'm gonna get myself a little piece of scrap paper here to color on. All right, and they already kind of started. I thought you'd like to see. So I've got this one I added olive to already. And reason being is my, oh gosh, I didn't bring my cherry, so we'll start this one because I didn't bring my cherry uh, cobbler sponge. I've got the next two colors. So I started off with just smearing a bit of olive and I basically did four or five little splotches of color all over this. Now, if you were going to do a lot of these, I would um, probably start with a solid piece of vanilla. This is vanilla and sponge it before you die cut because you can bend these leaves if you uh, press too hard. All right, so now we're gonna go to pumpkin. 
And now when you do this, I love where you see a little bit of two colors on, on a leaf, but I don't wanna go over another color. So basically you just go in between and you wanna get your edges. So that's um, some of the pumpkin. I think it, this really makes it fall. Don't ask me why I have to turn it, but I do. And you can go as bright or as dark as you want. A little bit more up here, I think. I have one more color to add. So I'm leaving some. Okay, so that's pumpkin pie. Now, what do you think the last color is that I'm going to add this right here? Anybody have a guess? Not Trina, not you, because you, you already made this card, so I know you know, if you remember. It is wild wheat. So this is actually really lovely in fall. I'm enjoying using it quite a bit. So see how, get in a clean area here, how it just adds some soft yellow. Now you can go really dark if you want to, but I want that golden color, but it's not yellow. And that's, that's it. You can go over. I always start with the darkest color first because I can fill in with the lightest and go over and it doesn't obscure the other colors. That's why you start dark first. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. Now I'm going to give you a, a hint. See how different this one looks than this one? Well, I told my club gals that I kind of did a boo-boo when I was cutting out. And this started out, if you can see that, lemon lime twist. I don't know why I chose lemon lime twist, so, but then I went and die cut all of these for my club members in vanilla. So I'm like, well, it's gonna be a little bit different and not quite as deep. So this is maybe, it has a little more pink tones, same exact colors were used on here, but the orange or pumpkin does not come out as orange. So remember, you don't always have to start with vanilla or white to, to sponge. Um, and the same with this one here. That's, I think this is why I started with Lemon Lime Twist is because this one was, and I wanted to use the same technique but get a few more fall colors in here. And then when I was die cutting, I totally forgot that I had used Lemon Lime Twist. So they're different cards, but that's okay. All right, so then the card base is vanilla. And I'll show you the inside in just a moment. Okay, so this gets glued directly on here. Now when I, this is a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half, the same size as your card front. I just made sure when I cut it that I moved that die over so I had one large, a, a thicker area on the opposite side. So now I can adhere that and I have a little bit more, I just want a few smears, especially on the edge where I don't want it to come loose. You do not have to get every leaf. Just a few here and there and especially the edges. I have no idea where I all got, but that should be good. Okay, now to pick it up. We start out on a corner. I just glue it down. And a little tip would be find a clean space, tip, turn it over, and you can burnish on the opposite side. Okay, then we will add our cherry cobbler strip. And I believe this is about a quarter of an inch just to cover up that edge. And it adds a pretty um, color as well. Brings in that the richness of there. So I did stamp the greeting and that's going to be added. And this is with the Autumn Leaves stamp set. So we'll add a couple dimensionals on there. Remember, you can use your fingernail to press the edge and then they, they just lift, the corners lift right off if you, if you get frustrated with that. Okay, 
and you can add now this I believe is a retired I couldn't find it in the catalog so I think it's a retired uh, brass or bronze or copper that I had extra of and I thought well I really like it so I used it and this is the oxidized copper and I feel like yes I do I have two I'm gonna do that one kind of on top all right so the twine that I used I actually ran out of this is the copper twine right here so I'm gonna try using this one this is the wild wheat find the end now what I do because it's awfully thick and you're thinking oh I would not like that thickness oh thanks Cindy I'm glad you like it so look at when you untwist it you get three strands so just get my finger in there separate a strand and then I just pull and tie my bow and then I can do more if I want to so it really makes this twine go a long way when you separate those layers okay and then of course your bow always looks messy until you straighten it out okay so yeah then if you pull this now I my next time I have two strands so I can use a thick or thin and um, make that work okay let me make your dots I didn't insert, this is from the Tailored Tags dies, which I love and use all the time. It's a great um, tag set. That works perfectly fine. Okay, so the inside. I'll give you a couple of hints on this. All right, so we'll get the stamps out. Oh no, don't tell me I left the other one over there. I did. Oh no, it's right here. Okay, we're going to first stamp the stem. This, well, and the greeting. So I'll move that over. Open this one up. Stamp my greeting, and this is copper clay. Try and get that straight. This is a lot of people's favorite. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful, gorgeous. Okay, so when you're doing this double leaf set right here, that um, I found out the hard way that you wanna do the stems first because the stem, I always want my stems to go off the paper like it's really hanging from something. I don't know, it's kind of a thing that I do. And then I'm going to use pumpkin pie for the solid leaves but I usually stamp off just a touch. And now when you look, you look at the two top and the two tips. The two tips need to go about there and the top center. So just take a little time and you'll have no problem matching that up. Okay, that is it for this card. Isn't it stunning? I, I really, really like this card. It's one of my favorites. Okay, now don't forget, the project sheets for this and the other one will be on my blog next week. And show you, if you just joined in, these are what we did today. So using the All About Autumn Designer paper, the gorgeous garden dies, the um, deckled circles, and of course the magical metal bundle. And of course, can't forget the So Sincere stamps. Like I said, one of my favorites. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and tuning in. And don't forget, if you want to get a mystery box, they are fun, fun, fun to get. Lots and lots of items in here, full. Um, yeah, full. For It's free with a $100 order. Just use a host code. And contact me if you're interested in that. My, it's a good time to get what you want. Um, I should still have some left next week if you're waiting for some of the items. Oh, I have something else to show you. If you're waiting for some of these items, I should have um, some mystery boxes left next week unless something goes, um, want, uh, goes gangbusters on me. All right, I wanna talk about my Christmas cards. 
Um, each year I do Christmas card classes and to be honest with you, my local classes have kind of gone um, south. They are not as well attended as they used to be because people are making are doing more photo cards. So, but I know that people love pre-cut kits. So I decided to choose and do it a little differently, choose a stamp set and design my cards around a stamp set. So the stamp set um, was, is what you need for to finish the cards, but I am cutting out everything for you. So the, all the cards I'm gonna show you just now are in my 12 card PDF tutorial, and that is here. All of this right here is going to be on my shop. So um, the cards are so cool. So this is one of the cards, and here's the other, same design. So each stamp set features two designs. Now this is my cut and stack, I'm sorry, triple stack and cut cards, and each one has envelopes. There's, I'm missing one for some reason out of this one. But um, yeah, you can get the kit, which is 12, let's see, 12 pre-cut cards. So you get six of this one and six of this one. The papers will vary and everything is die cut, nothing is stamped. So you need the stamp set. Now, if you add on the stamp set, I give you 10% off and the kit still costs $27. If you add on the bundle with this one, with the dies, you get the 12 card kit. Instead of 27, you get it for 13. So 13.50, sorry. So you save a lot of money if you purchase the bundle from me. Ten, so you get your kit is half price. So this is the first set of cards. The second set, I chose the Stars at Night stamp set. I do all the die cutting. You do not need the dies. However, like I said, if you want the bundle, get it from me with the kit and your kit is half price instead of 27, 13, 50. So these are both fun fold cards, simple design with envelopes, matching envelopes. So I do not stamp anything, but everything is die cut. You get the the stars, this die cut, the ribbon is pre-cut for you. So that's the first card. Here is the second card, and this is your gift card option. So here is a little slider. Now, if you want to put a gift card or money in here, you just insert it right here and it pops right up with when you open your card. See that? Oops. So really cool. This is the Snowflake Magic Snowflake Magic designer paper, and this is the Oh Holy Night paper. So that's that kit. Now last but not least is More Wishes. Now there is not a bundle for this one, but I, I just love the stamp set. So here is an, quite an easy card. Now some of the insides I did use Christmas classics for some of these cards because I love the greetings so much and the extra little pieces um the little greenery the berries so the i did not use just this set alone on these cards but there's your first one designer papers can vary when i cut them out the paper here is walk in the forest and there's the envelopes for this one you do get the envelopes with these kits and i made shaker cards so this is um, same walk in the paper, walk in the forest, and it's a shaker card. So you get the shakers, you get the clear envelopes, everything is die cut, you just stamp using your stamp set. Now you don't have to have the stamp set. You can use what you own, um, but you do get 10% off. So that is the More Wishes kit right here. This is Stars at Night, and this is Christmas Classics. So those are the choices for your kits to go. And here is um, my website. If you want to get the, just the kits, if you want to add on the bundle, don't buy the kits there because I will give them to you at half price. So you have to just message me if you want any of the kits. And if you want to add on and get more than 12 cards, I'll give you a special price as well. So that's my Christmas card kits for the season. And these, um, you'll get the PDF right away when you order here, but the kits will not go out until the end of October. So I'm giving myself a little more than a month to get these all ready. And um, yeah, so that's my Christmas card kits to go this, this year. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And thanks for popping in a few hours late. Remember the video will be on YouTube as well.
So thanks so much, everybody. Have a great week. And don't forget, when you make cards, you send cards. Don't just stash them. Make cards, send them out. Thinking of you, a hey friend, you know, whatever. Um, send a card out. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.